Let's go. Let's go. All right. Welcome, everybody, to our Tuesday afternoon live stream. Uh, my name is Sam. I'm Jesse. We're going to be playing Blueprints of Mad King Ludwig, designed by Ted Allspock. This is put out by Bezier Games. This is a paid playthrough, so I do want to make sure everybody knows that right off the top of the bat. That's not really the right expression. This should be just right off the bat. Right off the top? Off the top, yes. But I just combined, combined with it them off the top of the bat. Off the top of the bat, yeah. If you have something you off know. the top of the bat, it's probably not going to be a very good hit. Okay, now it sounds like you're talking sports. <clears throat> now what? Now you're talking sports. Somehow you lapsed into sports. sports. I did, somehow. Sports ball. That's the way to go. I know. All right, Spurs fan is here. Hello, Lewis. Good to see you. Tom is here. Thank you for being here, Tom. Nuno Ribello is here. Uh, Jesse and chat gang, hello. Hello, Sam. So thank you for joining us. This is, as I said just a few seconds ago, a paid play playthrough. Bezier Games uh, reached out and asked if uh, we would do this for them, and we said, certainly, certainly, certainly. So if you look up Blueprints of Mad King Ludwig on Board Game Geek, you'll see that it has the number 2024 next to it. That means it is a brand spanking game for this year. I don't believe it's even available yet, so this is a pretty cool thing. If it is available, you know where to go get it. But uh, we hope that we're going to be doing it a surface here in showing you how to play. Before you get into the game. Go ahead. Uh, Sam asked me what we wanted to play the other night. That's right. And I was like, that one. Mm -hmm. Those blueprints of Mad King Ludwig comes yep. with colored pencils. Colored pencils. <laughs> she is. She I is, was all in when I saw know, the colored pencils. She is a. Um, she is a connoisseur of all things preschool. <laughs> and so colored pencils are right down <laughs> right her up my alley. alley. I was like, colored pencils? Uh, yes. <clears throat> so it's a pretty cool thing. Each of the uh, different, uh, I'm going to try to get a uh, shot of this. Let me set it up real quick. I should have already set these up because I knew I wanted to do this. But oh, yes, of the pencils. Uh, I want to uh, get a shot of these pencils because... The, those are branded. These are not. So. Yep, these are branded. So uh, let me go ahead and just show you this on my phone because I think it's that cool. Um, and it's just a little neat, nerdy touch that they added to the game. But each of the, each of the colors of pencils have their own kind of room yeah. that they are supposed to be... Uh, doing I just thought it's a really neat thing that mm -hmm. they did that so they have everything from sleeping rooms to outdoor rooms to activity rooms to living rooms to downstairs food moat and utility rooms That's super and cool. those are the different colors that are used in the actual game uh, so you also have these wax almost do you said what kind I think of they're things? vellum I think vellum. the word is vellum. Vellum. Well, uh, anyway, the cool thing right. about these things is that you can stick the card underneath and you can see the room underneath it and it can help you uh, put things together. So that's a pretty cool mechanism as well as we're just getting into the game. But basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, designing our castle by sketching these different rooms into the different places uh, throughout the course of the game. And then we're going to be scoring points based on a number of different things. How many different rooms of each color did we finish? Well, that will give us a number of points per room that we finished. We're also going to be trying to build moats and expanding our lots because you see these little um, uh, dotted lines here. Uh, you can only start within the confines of this area here, this nine by nine, nine by nine grid. But you can extend it uh, to these other spots by uh, filling in green uh, rooms and finishing them off. You're going to be able to get bonus cards. Everybody starts with two bonus cards at the beginning of the game, but you can score more bonus cards by finishing utility rooms, and uh, you're going to be able to score a number of bonus cards at the end of the game equal to how many utility rooms you finished. So I can't even score these two bonus cards yet. I have to finish some utility rooms first in order to do that. You're also going to get points for courtyards and points for um, the 
sizes of the rooms that you're going to be making. You're going to have some royal decrees that are scoring you points. Uh, and then you also have these public goals that are out here. And whoever has uh, the, uh, whoever best satisfies those public goals will get 15 points. Second place will get eight points and so forth and so on. So those are all uh, tabulated and there's a lot of math that goes on. And then in this section right here, that's where we will determine who is the winner. The game also comes with the coolest eraser. A large eraser as well. But it's and, in a castle shape. But it is. It is, a, it is in a castle shape. You can see that we have already used it a little bit. We tried to be very gentle with it yeah. uh, as we went on. But in a two-player game, you're going to start with 40, sorry, 40 room cards. And then you deal out a number of room cards that is plus two to the number of players there are for the market. And that's what we're going to be starting with. We each start, as I already said, with two bonus cards. The player to the right of the uh, person who is the start player, which I'll be the start player again. And I get the eraser because of that. Okay. Because um, Jesse doesn't like being the start player. I don't. The person to the right of the start player gets the three royal decree cards. You will be able to pick those up right now. Okay. And choose one, and then you'll pass the other two to me, and then I'll add another Royal Decree card. Picture in picture. Yeah, I will. And then um, uh, I'll be able to choose from three as well, and that will be a little uh, secret bonus that uh, we will be able to have that the other person doesn't know that we're going for. So <clears throat> that's a little bit of a bonus. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get Here down... Uh, to the table here in just a few moments. You're good there. Um, yep, yep, yep. All right, so. I chose one. So I take one and add to it. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? And these we cited were flipped up. Like, huh? you know what I'm going for on this. No. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, those are flipped up. But don't flip it up yet, because I might choose something different based upon what you chose, because I'm that smart. He is. Uh, okay, let's see. For e That might be a good one. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that one right there. So I'm going to go with this one. These two royal decrees that did not get chosen basically go on the bottom of the deck, and that's not used anymore. So now we flip over our royal decrees. I chose to have three points for each unique building that I've built. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, that's that could a be one. a lot of points. And then you chose, wow, 12... For each completed pair. So what? I don't really know that that's going to happen. Completed, and there's no red or purple this time. No. I don't know about that. Mm. I don't know. I don't know about that at all. Yeah, you know, I don't always make logical choices. Well, you know. Uh, let's see. Foul ball. What is foul? Oh, yeah. <laughs> foul ball <laughs> off the end of the bat. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, looks like it's available at a lot of retailers. Well, there you have it, Tom. I knew it was uh, released this year. I didn't it know is, the reta retail it availability is, of it, yeah. though. But it is brand spanking new. All right, so let's go ahead and get down to the table here, and uh, we'll give you a view of how everything's going on. So I told you that we start with 40 room cards. Here's the beginning market of four cards that are out there. Um, it also comes with all of these cards here. And you only use four goals out of all of these. Oh, so it's so going to be different every there's time. A lot of, there's a lot of replayability in, in the game. This is the number of bonus cards that come in the game as well, and the number of special decrees. So, of course, you're going to be using more royal decrees uh, with more players. Uh, we're only using two of them, uh, but there's a whole ton more. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Everybody gets their own score sheet. Everybody gets their own easel. Uh, and then they fit their vellum uh, little sketch board into their thing. Uh, the game only comes with one set of colored pencils, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but we chose to go ahead and uh, bring out our own set for Jesse to use um, uh, so that we don't, if, we're, if we both take the same color, we can kind of speed up the game a little bit. That's the only reason why. Um, but it does come in this little uh, Neato Frito 
uh, color pencil <laughs> box as well. And it also comes with these really nice uh, really player eights. eights. Yeah. So they are double sided, but we each have two so that we don't have to keep flipping it over yeah. uh, and so forth in case we need to reference it. So our first turn is we're going to be able to choose a room type for the foyer. You'll notice here that the foyer is white, mm -hmm. but we can choose what, color we, what color we want it to be. And that's important because each of the different room types, as I uh, maybe showed earlier, I didn't really mention it that much though, uh, but each of the room types has a different special ability when you complete a room of that color. So if you complete a yellow room, it's gonna give you an extra turn and you can basically do that whenever you want. You can do it immediately after you finish that room or you can save it until later. Uh, if you finish a blue room, you're gonna be able to move a door that is in the room that you are currently drawing into the thing. So that's a special ability that you can move, that you can use when you're adding a new room to your castle. Gray doors, which are the downstairs uh, rooms that are like this, you can add a secret door uh, to one of your rooms that will help you connect a room. Maybe there's a path that you need to make sure that is connected or something to that effect. Um, if you complete a red room, you can take from the reserve. So as we're going through and choosing these cards here, we're going to be, there's generally going to be one or two left behind, possibly, unless both of us use extra actions. The discards will go into the reserve. And so the red ability here allows you, instead of taking from the marketplace, you can take from the reserve on your turn instead of the marketplace. Expanding your lot, we already talked about that. Building a moat, if that comes into play, which it very well could be, because that's a lot of points, basically. Uh -huh. uh, we'll explain that as we go along. We already talked about finishing utility rooms, uh, getting more bonus points, uh, bonus cards to uh, hopefully uh, score uh, more points at the end of the game, and so forth. So each of those different kinds of rooms has a different ability that allows you to do. Uh, and so that's what we'll have to uh, make sure we keep track of during the course of the game. All right. Um, so going back to the different things here, these are goals that we'll be able to finish at the end of the game. So whoever has the most purple rooms at the end of the game will get 15 points. Whoever has the most yellow rooms will get 15 points. Whoever has the most unique types of rooms will get 15 points, second most will get eight, and whoever has the most red rooms. Red room, red room. <laughs> that what he said. Yeah, it is. It's red room, but yeah. it's a red room if you put a umlaut on the <laughs> Maybe that's what it is, put the umlaut on there. <laughs> uh, let's see here, Bushman says hello to everybody. Kabuki Kid is here, hello, hello. Good to see you, a little busy, distracted, but I'm here. Thank you for being here, Kabuki Kid. Uh, we appreciate you, you too, Tom and Bushman, and Nuno, and Lewis, and whomever else might be here and, and not saying you. anything. Everybody, thank you for being here. All right, so, Jesse, you go ahead and choose first what your starting, what your foyer color is going to be. Uh, my color is going to be... Um, I did yellow before, but I think I'm just going to stick with yellow. I'm going to do yellow. Oh, I should do red or purple. <laughs> well, fine. I mean, fine, you have fine, that. Fine, fine. Okay, so... I will choose red. Okay, you're going to no, choose red? I don't like red. No? Remove an entrance from an already drawn room. I haven't done that. But no, remove that. a door. Remove one door yeah. from an or already drawn room, which, which room, can which help you forget. finish a room. Yeah. So, that, so that's actually a pretty cool thing. I will thing. do purple. All right. So she's doing a purple Wait, foyer. Wait, i label my name. Oh, we're going to put the name up there, huh? I am. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do the same thing. And the date is the 26th. It's my mom's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, <laughs> Momo. The date is three, what? 26. 24. Um, the player is... I just had a name Sam. for my castle a minute ago, and now I can't remember. I'm going with Kasho Wolfenstein. Oh, my. Oh. 
Castle Wolfenstein, ja. All right. <clears throat> I'm going with Romanov Castle. Romanov Castle. It's Romanov, but I tried to spell Romanov, but I couldn't. Well, that's fine. Romanov is fine. <laughs> Romanov is okay, fine. So okay, I'm so you're, you're going with purple. What yes. am I going to go as? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. What are you going to go as, darling? Hmm. Uh, each unique. I'm going to look at my bonus things and see what I have here. And then. This gets uh, me a swan right away. Yep, it does. Okay. I'm going to go with my little swan. He's super I cute. think I'm going to go with yeller. I'm going to go with yeller because... I know, the take an extra turn is good. Taking an extra turn is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you get to color it in as well. Okay, and then you get to choose because you're going first. Yup, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, and I'm, 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 I'm a little anal about making sure that I have a good color in here, so I apologize for that. But I do get to uh, uh, color cool. in my little yellow swan here because whenever you take a room that has a swan on it, you get to fill in a swan here. Whenever you get four swans, you get to build a moat, baby. Yes, that's super cool. So that's pretty neat. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, I started with yellow. Uh, I do. I have not finished that yet, but... But we get start reward. Yeah, we do have a start reward, so that's cool. Um, let's see. What do I want? Do I want a dirt room? It doesn't seem like I, 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 would, I would do very well to have a dirt room. Right. Just gets you um, straight up pointy points. I think, think I might want the Venus Grotto. Cool. Um, While you start that, I'm going to take the Windy J Farms. Is that what you're... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, I will wait. No. You're not ready. He's not ready. I'm an rushing ante, him. An ante room might be... I uh, think I'm going to do the ante room. Then you get yellow, yellow. Yep, yep. I'm going to get yellow. I'm going to go with the Windy J Farms, right. which I think fits where I want. But I will cheat and look under the vellum. What? No, I mean like because I'm not always visual enough. I do there. So while we are drawing our first things. All right. So yeah, you can use that little um, the. Um, you can use that idea of, of, of putting the card underneath the vellum if you want to, but you don't have to because yeah, usually you can, it does help. It does help me to kind of visualize yeah. it like, oh, okay, it fits there, it works. And these go in a discard pile, we said. No, these go here. And because oh, because we these have are the cards see. we yeah, have. These yeah, are yeah, the yeah. cards that we have. And so we're going to be, uh, and it, it determines who goes first next round. So none of us have completed a room, so none of us can do anything like but that. But we do need to put, like, we have our start where we just haven't filled in the flag. That's like, correct. So yeah, we do have that, but. Okay. Um, now, at this point, we're going to see who goes first and who goes last. I have the smaller room, so smaller room goes first in the next round. Larger rooms go last in the last in the next round. So you're going to be able to fill in your go last, one of your go last circles. So there's kind of a reward to going last, uh, which is pretty cool, uh, a pretty cool mechanism. So uh, basically when she fills, when someone has gone last three times, they're going to be able to mimic one of the um, completed room powers or they can fill in another swan on their moat line. Mm -hmm. So these two did not get chosen. So they're gonna come over here into the reserve and then we flip out uh, two plus the number of players more. So these are now the cards that are available to us. I get to go first. Yes, you do. Um, 
and that means I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to choose the gatehouse. And I'm going to make the gatehouse be a green. Okay. Um, and then that's going to go down. So you go ahead and make yours. I'm going to choose blue, which is a what? Sleeping room? Isn't that what it says? A blue is a... Yep, blue is a sleeping room. I'm putting a dressing room right off my foyer. Why would you do I such a thing? I don't know, but... Why would you do such madness? I don't know. And now I get to color all of that in. Yes, you're watching me color. You know... That's pretty interesting. You know, it's all, all right. good. So that is that. This goes on top. Now, this one actually was a swan room for me, so I'm going to color in another swan on my score sheet here. So I am two swans away from being able to build my moat. What have we got going on here? Man, I remember <coughs> playing the original original Castle Wolfenstein game on C64. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> uh, was novel for the time because it had digitized speech, not common in games of the day yet. That's, that's cool. cool. Uh, then return to Castle Wolfenstein where you had to plant a bomb to blow up Hitler. Exactly. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, I died a lot in that game. Never really was any good at it. Ne neither was I, but it was fun. It was fun. Mein Leben! <laughs> That's one of the things that got said a lot. <laughs> got it. All right. So, uh, neither of us have completed rooms yet, so we don't have anything that's we're really firing off. These two guys come over here into the uh, reserve. Four more cards get put out. Ooh, the archives. Look. Ooh, a grand atrium or a nap room. There's Jesse's room. It is my nap room. Uh huh. You can. So Welcome. it's important to note here that right now we are confined to that, that right, nine to by that nine, nine grid. So we can't build outside of that right. until we finish a green room and uh, get that kind of um, ready to go. So, hmm. Okay, so I had a um, two. You had a two and I had a four. So you, so you get to go first and I get to go last, which means that I'm going to be able to color in one of these things here. Um, there we go. You're up. I don't know how to make it work. One guy 777 Can is I here. $10. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you so much. At work, can't hang around, but have a good day. Thank you, sir. You have a good day as well. We certainly will. Um, stay in the lines. Jess is grading later. I know. I'm not, I mean, I'm actually not very good at staying in the lines, so. Uh, you and know. then when Wolfenstein 3D came came out, I remember seeing it at a friend's house, and my mind was blown. First FPS I ever saw. Wow. Hmm. That's pretty cool. All right. Have you chosen? I think I'm going to choose this one. Okay. You're going to choose that one? Or I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to okay. choose this one. All right. But I need to cheat it and see where it You're is. You're going to cheat? No, I have to look under my vellum. Y'all heard that. Know. She said she's going to cheat. Oh, my goodness. Um, All right, but I I'm want to also to... use my start reward. Uh-oh. And move a door. Okay. Can I move it to this spot? It's on a corner. I don't think you can. Because it's on a corner. Okay. I don't think you can because it's on that corner. I don't Because it doesn't exactly right. match up. Okay. Then let me have to go down here. I am going to... Yeah, we have to go down here. I'm okay. going to use utility room here. One, two, three. So it just goes one, two, one, two, three. Like that. And down. This is and that me. finishes right. two rooms for me. Bam! Who's winning at life right now? I'm guessing you. I am. I am. You have no idea. All right, so that is an orange room that I got in there. And that allowed me to complete an orange room because it only has one door and it matched up with the door down here. So that allows me to fill in that little circle here. 
What that circle allows me to do is I get to draw two cards, two bonus cards. So in order to denote that I took that special action, you fill in the flag right there, and that allows me to draw two cards right off the bat. And now, since I have one completed orange room, I'll be able to score one of these bonus cards at the end of the game. So it kind of is giving you more uh, leniency in what you're trying to sc score points for. But I also completed a green room with that action. Nice. So I'm going to be able to fill this one in right here. And that allows me to expand my lot somewhere if I want to. So I think I'm going to do... I'm going to... I earned a reward of I'm going to do, a door, but I haven't done it yet. I'm going to do this right here. No, that's... I did it wrong. I Go just ahead. messed up. Can I have the eraser? You need the eraser. Oh, my goodness. Of course I do, because I messed up, honey. So just to show everybody kind of what I just did um, so that you can kind of see it on the board... I so, completed a blue room. So I'm doing I came blue. over here and I added an orange room to my castle, which completed the orange room and it completed my green room. So I came over here and I filled in the circle on my orange row right here. And I filled in the flag because I went ahead and took my two bonus cards. But then since I finished a green room as well, I came up here and filled in that green circle and it allowed me to expand a lot, which means that I colored in this little flag right there, which opens up these two columns on my uh, board. So I'm gonna have to fill in that flag on my score sheet as well. But that's how my turn went. And what about you, Jesse? What did you do? I completed a blue room. Yeah. So I did this. Mm-hmm. And did you use any special abilities? No, but I am going to take my start reward and okay. do an extra turn so I can get that card. Oh, man, she's going to get an, another archive as well. So I'm going to take my extra. So she's denoting that she took her, her start. And I'm going to take my extra turn. Okay. Which I think, if I'm right, I might be wrong. It's very possible that I'm wrong. <gasps> I'm right. It's going to fit right there. It fits right there. Look, at, Look at me. That's pretty cool. That is super cool. So I'm going to take that as an extra turn and draw this little dude in here. Okay. All right. While she finishes that, I'm going to get ready for the next round. I'm going to put four more rooms out here because she's already made her decision. And that's good to go. Oh, I do need to uh, fill in. My little flag here because I did expand my zone. See, I can't draw lines. So there we go. All righty. All right, so I have a three, and the last one you took was a six. So I'm going first. So I fill in Yeah, this. you fill in another one over there. And I'll wait for you. I'm going Gosh, so slow. My goodness, stressing me out. <laughs> now, the interesting thing is Sam is, like, super nice on his coloring. I kind of do more shading than coloring, and that's because I'm a preschool teacher and I'm actually terrible at coloring. <laughs> I don't stay in the lines very often. Okay, well, but then that completed a purple room for me. That's not going to work. I think I might have messed up, but... Uh-huh. Okay, so that completes a purple room for me. Okay. That completed a purple room? Yeah. It did. It pr completed your foyer. Yeah, it did. But this now you need to get some up. red rooms out there. I'm working on it. Give me look some red cards. Took. Ooh, look at you. Ha-ha. <laughs> Punk. All right, so I'm going to take the orchestra room and start coloring that in. So you go ahead and start taking yours. Okay, did I mark in my last turn? Uh, yes, you did. Okay. Because you just got through using okay, the purple, purple, and you did it in purple. So cool. So I'm going to choose... What are you choosing? I'll choose the orchestra room. Right oh. off the full yay, because... What is an orchestra room? What is red again? What is it? Music. Coded? Hmm? Music room. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's a music room. You're having a very wow, this musical is like, little space this is here. A, yeah, okay, uh, to I guess like I this. will. Goes like this. Mm. And this um. I am grateful that I can slide it under because I am visual and that helps me a ton because I'm super visual that way. I am. Oh, this is going to be fun. What did you do? Mm. Oh, I did. Mine ended up just being a circle. Not, mm. Mine definitely ended up being a circle. This looks cool, though. Okay. So I'm taking this one. I haven't. I have a very nice looking red building over here. So, boom. I might need to actually trace this one. <laughs> <laughs> In retrospect, I probably should have traced to the orchestra room, but I chose not I to. I think I need to. I chose to put my big boy pants on and do it on my. Do oh, it you're hand. big smart. You are big smart. Right. So those, that is colored in. I have my red room done. Okay. Uh, oh, and I colored that it. that finished a and I yellow room. I colored one. That finished a yellow room for me. So I do get to fill this one in. And, um. Uh, okay. What was the name of the pool I just did? Oh, Duchess Chamber. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. So I have a dressing room and the Duchess Chamber. And they're all connected to my front room. So, you know. Um, I think I want to. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use a second action here with my yellow room that I just finished. And I'm going to do a pajama closet. And the pajama closet la la. is, you know what? I don't, know. I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, I do. You want to put your pajama closet I don't next put, to the... No, I don't want to put my pajama closet. I'm going to do a locker room. I want to do a locker room because... You know, a locker room in a castle seems very wrong. No, it doesn't seem wrong. Because locker room to me implies like... High school locker room. No. What is a locker room then? It, in in a castle. It's a place in which young men can <laughs> bathe and clean up after gym class. It, no, then that's what I said it was, and I think it's a different kind of room. <laughs> ooh la la, ooh la 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 la. So that allowed me to finish another orange. You room. are kicking my tushy. I don't think so. She beat me last night, by the I way. I did. By 50 a... points. <laughs> so it's I don't want to hear thing, it. thing, though. So I finished the locker room, which allows me to uh, color in that orange thingy right there and allows me oh, to get see, two I'm more missing. bonus I cards. I should colored my green room. No, because you don't color Ooh. in a, you don't finish a green room. Nice. They don't have a lot, a spot, right? You just no, do that. you do, you do. If you finish a green room, you color in that spot right there, and then it allows you to expand your lot. And I went oh, ahead and it allowed me to action. expand my lot. Yep. So I need to do that. Yes, it does. You do. And this flag makes it this line, right? Yes, that's correct. And this mm -hmm. flag makes it yep, this line. That's correct. You are so correct. I will do this. Everyone flag. needs a pajama closet. I mean, how many pajamas do you need? That's what I would like to know. Uh, did Jess also complete that green room? Yes, I just did. She did. I just realized that. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Ask am... Games, keeping you on track. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. I'm very grateful. <laughs> I love how you draw the rooms and doors the way you used to do in old school D and D maps. That is correct. Then again, I guess it is the same today. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Yes, Lock. green room. No, I'm purple not going to say that. Room. Nope. Blue room. Good. All right. So we're done? Wow. Yours looks so nice. So this one comes over here, and that's part of the, uh, 
So four more come oh, out. Here we go. Oh, oh my. There's, there's a red there's rum my for red you. one. Red rum. Red rum. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. Wow. But I have a six, and you have a... Three. So I so, go last. And you color in another thing, which gives you another special action, if you wish. I do have another Whenever special action, which would be want. one of these. Maybe okay. with a moat. Jess, you could color in the flag in the far right so you can finish your purple room. Flag in the far right so you this can one? finish your purple room. Oh, and room. remove the door. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you, right? Yeah. Or, uh, That's the yeah. far right, and that would remove that door. Yeah. Yes, is that... I'll do that. Yep, yep. Thank you. That finishes another purple room for you as well. So now you've, no, you've you've finished two. One. No, this two. is my that is my second. Yeah, that's your second. So yeah. now you've finished the second. Uh, Thank you. Please keep me. Yep. yep. I appreciate right. help. Uh, I, go, <laughs> I go first. So let's see here. What shall I do? Ooh, I could make a. Oh, it doesn't fit. You go first, it boy. It doesn't fit. Indeed. Uh, you can finish the purple room with a moat as well. You're you right. You could also I, I, do that. I don't have enough to do a moat yet, yeah. but I, I did have that thought. But I like the thought of just finishing it now, and then if the moat comes in, great! But, um... work. I'm loving it. McDonald's. You did that just to take the red, though. I would like you to all know. Well, maybe. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Totally true. The moat can go there because you opened the area. Yes. Also, so you could the... add a room there. The flag gives you the opportunity to finish the room. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's good. Thank you. Okay, you're choosing that one, my love? Yes. Um... Aye, aye, aye. These visuals sometimes make my brain hurt because I can't. Okay, so this is one, two, um, three, four. So I'm going to be going from, let's see, this I think I will go here. Go but that gives me no here. doors. Oh, dear. Do I do that, honey? Is here. that a good idea? I do not care. <laughs> That's not what I asked. <laughs> I said, so if that, I complete this, then I have no one, other two, doors. Three, four. To get into my building. That's probably not a good oh, idea. Oh, sad face. Four. <laughs> Wait, let me see four. this one. Yep. One, two, three, four. Um, there we go. Ay, ay, ay. I don't then, think you fit there. Um. Okay. And then this one is going to go down to here. Um, right there, and this one just goes around like that. And then there's a okay. big block in the middle of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I me and Mars. So I think I'm going to do this. And this goes here like that. Mm. So then I get to color all this in. Sometimes I have to think a little bit too much. I think I'm like, draw the line, follow the dot. Yes, I'm going to do that. I'm adding stables because every castle should have stables. Uh-uh. Totally, huh? Let's see. Sorry about the misunderstanding. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Did As I? As you gain yeah. access to that empty space. It's okay. It's no please, problem. You please, keep, you please, keep talking. please you keep, keep giving talking. us information. Uh, um, Jay uh, Karanen says, Dr. Sleep was decent, but it felt like a missed opportunity to have the ghost of the Jack finish the villain off with his axe instead of the random ghost. Maybe Danny saying, get her dad, LOL. I have no you idea. You missed something. They're talking about something. No, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to put the stables in here, but I'm going to use this purple ability. 
to remove a door. And I'm going to color in this little door here. Now, I so it is finished, connected. I finished my other red room. I am finished here. anything. You could share some of the red for the love of Pete. My goodness. <laughs> Go. I love the coloring part. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I added just another stable. That's all I did. Oh, That's but I do have it. this. Um, let me see. Did do I have? Am I keeping track of my swans? Yes, I am. Okay, just not getting very many of them. I just got another <coughs> swan. That was my third oh, swan. Mighty. All um, right. So, um, are you going to be doing anything else here? I really want to use this ability. Um, Can I use it to take a room from reserve? No, it has to be instead of a turn, right? That's correct. Uh, so Poop. basically the red thing, the red turn can be used instead of taking from the market, right. you can take from the reserve. Okay. So, but you could like, for example, if you had, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, if you had an extra turn to take, right, you, can. you could, Use an extra turn and use a red, and right, then right. take that from the reserve Got if it. you wish. Okay. If you didn't want any, either of these two. But I think what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to. Oh, and I removed no, my I'm door. Not going I removed to. my door, so I'm coloring no, in my No, I'm flag. going to. I'm going to uh, use my start reward. Yes. To. Um, do an extra turn and I'm going to take the dormitory nice and basically just add it right there so let me get a blue <clears throat> so the dormitory is going to go but a room becomes closed if it opens into a courtyard uh I believe as long as the so, courtyard is closed right if I put something here and this little courtyard becomes a courtyard this door opens into the courtyard that closes this room I think so but um, I think maybe we'll have uh, Bezier uh, chime in on that. Cause I, I don't remember, but I thought that's what um, we had. I'm not sure. So one, two, I three, really need... one, two, three, all the way down. I still have a move door I can use, but I don't want to do that yet. So I used um, my start ability to take an extra turn to put yes. this one in. Okay, that's that for me. Um, so this one comes over here. I did a three. I did a six. So I go first, you go last. Another one comes over here, and then we go here, here. Jess, your purple room on the right shouldn't be finished yet. This one? But I removed a door. Yeah, she removed a door. And I filled in the flag for it. I yeah. removed this door and I've removed this door. With my two, I think that I think that's correct. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I miss. You finished that one, and you used I think that ability to, to remove this. that door, which closed that room. Right. Which... So that room is second, and yeah. you used the, the ability from that one to, to close, close this, this room. One. I have like <clears throat> two colors on my board right now. You have really good colors. Okay. Oh. So I am six, so I go last, so you go first, my love. Um, let's see here. Oh, my. That has a lot of doors. The catacombs looks pretty cool, though. That is cool. Greenhouse looks cool, too, though. But I don't know that I have any place. A baconry? Please tell me that's where bacon might be procured. Baconry is, it is food. It is yellow, so it is food. I need to tell you. I think, I think you need a baconry. Is. I'm not going to take a baconry. Um, I don't, I don't like any of these rooms, as a matter of fact. Move a door. Um, would that one work? I don't think that one would work. I hope that would be one off. Mm. That would also be one off. 
How about this? Bing, bing. No, that would be one off as well. So I think I'm going to skip a turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. No, I could take a room from a reserve. Aha. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Let's go, baby. Yeah. Mm. I have worked myself into... Oh, that works, though. Oh, it does work. Okay, I'm taking, I'm taking this one. I'm using my red... Using my red ability here to take from the reserve this turn. Which one are you taking? I'm taking the nice. fountains. Nice. And I'm going to... <clears throat> I'm going to do fountains. Um. That's going to go here. Ouch. Um. Here. Okay. So I'm going to. Boom, boom. I'm going to take this little yellow one, please. The baconry. Because bacon. Bacon! This goes over here like that. And this will go here, 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 here. And over to there. Um. And goes up. And then directly up. And I think I'm going to use the ability from my blue that I completed mm -hmm. to um, move one of these doors to the top here. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that. Move my door. Let me color it in with blue so you can see it. So I moved my door to the top, babe. Mm -hmm. Instead of there on the side. Uh, let's see. You're handy having anything. you around during live play. That is correct, Bezier. But, Please, we're um, grateful. Yeah, we are very grateful. But I, I just want to make sure that... Uh, our explanations to what you've said about the purple room is uh, right. Good. Please, please make sure that make I'm sure doing it right because I, I think can we are. frequently mess up. Now the fountains allows me to. Okay, so that completed green a green room, which gets me another flag. That finished a yellow room for me though. So if I color this flag in, honey, then I can build up to here. Yes. And I, since I already have this one, I can build up to here and here. Yes, that's correct. Okay, <sighs> mm. I'm going to do this one. Do I want to use that again? So this one goes to there. And this one goes to here, so but it's like here to here. Okay, oh, my love. Um, which room did you take out here? I took this little yellow one right here, the bacon. Room oh, right and there. I didn't take from out here. You didn't take. Ah, 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 ah. That's correct. Uh, Jess, you're on top of it. She says, "Well done." All right, cool. Um. Did you get your bonus cards when you drew your oranges? Yes. Okay. Because I start with two. Right. No, and no. I've finished two rooms. I have no so orange and no red. I would like everyone to know. <coughs> but it's so good that you have that. I know. I know. <laughs> what? I know. <laughs> oh, it's because you're looking for red. That's why. I mean, I'm All waiting right, so for these, a red. And then when come they come out. out, you take them. Hey, we're getting so, low. Yeah. All I need is one red to make me happy. But there won't be any. So. All right. <laughs> um... So here's the thing. Um, I have a one. And so I, go I first. have a six. So you go first, and I fill in one of these doohickeys for me. All right. Okay. Go ahead. One, two, three. 
have all my and pencils. I start straight. one. I should have four. I should have one, two, three, <laughs> plus my four. I should have one more swan because this one gets filled in, right? Mm -hmm. And then I have one, two, or three. One, two, three. Oh, man. And four. So I should have one more. I don't know what color I used. I just did one. And that gives me the ability to build a moat. Ooh. So. All right, so fill in that circle. And if you want to, you, right, can, you can build your, your moat mo right nah, away. Right. Um, I could. But from any point on, you can build your moat. Right. So right. starting right now. Right. No, I don't can, need to right now because I have the flag to mark it. Yep, yep. Okay, oh, so I skipped I, a turn. I skipped see, a turn. No, I didn't. Turn. No, I didn't skip a turn. Remember, I used my red to take from here. I didn't skip. Oh. No, no, no. Right, right. Okay, so I go first. Mimi. You have the lower? Okay, so I... Um, and, and I just filled in this. Yes. So, yes, go ahead. So, so, so... Um... Um... Let me see. When you add a room, I think one of one of your doors, at least one of your doors has to match, I think. I think that's what you said. Um, I haven't had that problem yet, but that doesn't mean I won't. You may block any number of entrances on your new or already sketched rooms as long as your new room has at least one connected entrance. Yes. And that allows you to... Um, that allows you to use like uh, removing a door or or moving doors and stuff like that. Right. So, okay, I'm gonna take this little orange one because there are no red ones. I'm just saying. Mm. I'm taking a boot rim because mm. boots. Boots indeed. One, two. But that's not gonna. This orange color is very nicely on this. I really need to get a room. Too bad. <laughs> I am, so I completed I an orange so room. so freaking in trouble here. I completed an orange room, and it completed a purple room. Mm. Okay? Because mm -hmm. it completed this purple room, and it completed this orange room. So my orange room, I get to take a bonus one. So we, what, we take one because I completed one, yes? Mm-hmm. Yes? What? When I complete one, I get yes, one. Yes, you get two. You get two. You get two? Yeah, this is the thing. Take two. Oh. And then, this and then is you gonna... color in your flag when you take yes, the two. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, Ooh, look at that. That's amazing. Golly, gee whiz. I guess I'm going to okay. take the pantry. I really don't want to. <laughs> and you already used your take from reserve, so la di di da di di da. But I'm going to do the pantry. It's going to be really wonky, though. All right. Yeah, it'll allow me to do it. Okay. So I'm going to go. <laughs> what does it look like? Oh, yeah, it does. Because I do have one room that. Where you can move a door or something. Where I can move a door, yeah. So, well, no. Uh, I just need to get out of this thing here. I need to get up and out. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck there, too. So, um, this went like that. And then this comes in here like this and like there. Yes. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, I like it. You be quiet. You shush. You don't get to tell me to be quiet. I do. I just did. You do, I don't think All you right, do. So that finishes a green room, though. Um, so I can expand my lot if I want to. Um, so I I am going to do that, I think. So I'm going to expand my lot, and I'm going to expand it. Let's see, I've already done this. I'm going to expand it to here because this allows me to go up to this green line up here. So I'm going to do that. Um, now, from this other room, I have, oops, uh, from the second yellow room, I have uh, take an extra turn. 
So I'm going to use that right now. Pantry goes down there, and then I'm going to use this one, I think. Does it work? Ouch. Yeah, it works. Yeah, sweet. All right, so I'm going to use the mead cellar, which Ooh. lets me fill in my fourth so I can swan. Say, honey. <laughs> Hey, honey. Um, and the mead cellar is going to go right. Oh gosh, that's a weird. So it's going to go up one, two. So one, two, like that. Sam's doing math while I'm waiting. Well, you could be setting up for the next round. Okay, fine. I can do that. And that goes oh, over there. Oh, they're upside down. And then we I'm go sorry. up to here like this. And this pops over one here, then goes up um, two this more. This one had to go away. Yep. And then this one pops over like that. So I have a two, but you have a one. So you and still go first, here. my darling. I know, and now you're waiting on me again. Again, I'm waiting, waiting. But I'm not very weighty. I'm gonna do that. Mm. It's all good. It's all good. I like it. Do all of this. Let's go. So yeah, keep going. Keep You're talking. coloring in your basements. You have a downstairs. I now. have a downstairs. I have a mead cellar. A mead cellar. But that finishes another yellow because yes. this doesn't yes. count. This room isn't finished <coughs> because that still has like an open doorway. I don't. Th I don't think that room is finished. But the yellow one is because there's a wall there. Why wouldn't this one be finished? Because this is an. Like, I don't, oh. I don't know. Oh, because it didn't complete. It didn't complete. Okay, I see, I see. So, uh, but I did finish this yellow one here, though, which cool. will allow me to take another free action at some other time in the future. You already remove everything here? I did. Okay. I'm just waiting for you, So my I went, I had a five, you have a two, so you go first, which... No. Smallest number goes first. Yeah, oh, I have five first. and a two. Right, yes, yeah. I thought and you had so the one, but I forgot. That allows me to fill this in again. Smallest number goes first. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to take a red no matter where it fits. I I'm just need to. <laughs> I I'm don't know where to, it's going to fit. I'm going to use my special action here to um, finish off to use the purple remove a door here. So that's just going to color in that door right there, which allows me to um, finish that blue room. So okay, that I'm going to take this red that. one. The training chamber. What is red? Activity. Ooh, oh, yeah. Activity. Um, okay, I'm going to take my training center. I don't have any courtyards, man. Oh, this wait, now That's I got bummer, confused. Dude. Oh, now I got confused. How did I get confused? Um, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm smarter than room. I think. I need one of them purple rooms. Shoot. I have a few purple rooms. Let's see what this one. 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 One, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this drawing room. I'm oh. gonna take this drawing room. <gasps> Man down. What I just broke my do? pencil. Um, actually, let's see. I'm gonna use it like. Oh. Does this work? I don't know. Does it, dollars. darling? But I'm going to. Um, so I can go, I, I'm getting myself confused here, hold on, um, All right. so this line gets me, the, I had it and now I can't, this line, this flag gets me these sections because I was still in the same line. This flag 
gets me this section from here to here. Okay, I got, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> what? This if you, flag. If you, if you color in this yes. flag, it knocks out that line, which pushes the line up to here. Right, right. If you color this line, right. it knocks out that line right. and it pushes your section out to here. So mine is from here to here. That is correct. Okay. See? Told you I'd get there. Okay, so I'm going to use the flag on remove a door and make this a solid wall here and color that in. And I have a red room finally. I've got two. Shut up. And I've got a purple room. I know. All right, I just finished another red room. Good bom, golly. Bom, That's all you do. Bom. And I think I'm going to use my moat ability. <clears throat> and my moat ability is going to use my teal. And my teal, my moat ability is going to go up to here. So I'm going to color all of this in right here. That's such a pretty color. It's your favorite color. It is my color. favorite color. I wonder how I like that. Okay, so <clears throat> I finished my training room, my love. Your training room. That's what it says. Training chamber. Ooh la la. All right. So I put my moat in there. I love it. So that's done. And that closes off this door right here. Yes. So there we have that. Um, we don't only have like two rounds left, it looks like. So. No. Okay. Um, so I had a seven, and you have a five, five, but you also have a swan. Did you color in your swan? Uh, one, two, three, four, yes, because that's what gave me the ability. No, because you start oh, with five. that one. Oh, yeah, so I get one more. Okay, so I go last, you go first, so I color in the go last. Mm-hmm. All right, um, so these go away. Yes, please. And we have one, two, three. Oh, that's a cool one. Four, a majestic lobby. I know, I like it a lot. Oh, the bog. The bog, I don't know about the bog. Hmm. So I go last, I understand. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, hmm. Don't quite like all this. I don't quite like all this at all. Take re from the reserve. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm drinking more lemon water. Yeah, you do that. Mm-hmm. You know me, I'm a sour. Sour patch kid. One, two, three. So that's not going to work there. If I put it there. One, two. That would mess me up there, though. <laughs> Come on, pokey pants. I could do catacombs, maybe. Okay, well, you do. Can I play with these and see if these fit? Yeah, go ahead. Because I'm like, I don't know what you're doing, but... A Venus Grotto. One, two, three. <laughs> that's not going to fit. Catacombs, however. That's not, not going to fit either. Poop! Um... <laughs> I just need Wait, to I get to go first. I know, but I'm waiting for you, trying to see if these pieces fit. I don't mm. understand. I'm visual. I have to line things up. Oh, dang. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm doing the laundry room. Because that does 
I get to add a secret door. What? 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 Okay, so I don't know. I don't know if these fit. So now I need to like think here. Uh, oh, no. wait a minute. No. This means I'm not going to be able to add any more. No. No. Uh, and I don't have any red rooms completed, so I can't take one from the reserve. So, you have to fit somewhere. That's just what has to happen, but I have to connect it to a door, and it doesn't work. So, boo. Um, well, then, I will... So I completed an orange room. So I can take one of these, right, babe, as this flag for that, the go last thing, and use one of these, and then take a room from the reserve. Yes. None of the cards really work for me. Yes, you may. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill in my little flag here on the go last. Um, and I'm going to take a card from the reserve while okay. you are thinking, because I don't know what else to do. Okay. I finished a... Um, I finished a gray room, though, an underground room, and I can add a secret door. Um, nice. Uh, I think that'll work, actually. That'll work. I'm going to add a secret door right here, which makes that a courtyard. I think I'm going to... So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that, and I'm taking a rim from the reserve, and I'm taking this. Although I should pick a red one, but I don't think there are any red ones because you've taken all of them. No, there's one in there somewhere. There isn't. There isn't. Not a single one. There's not any more. No, there isn't. So I'm going to take this one, which is a <laughs> dessert rim. Thank you very much. Because who doesn't love a dessert room? It's full rim? of sand. No, it's not a desert room. It's a dessert room. So I'm just going to take some uh, moments and show how our... Yes, please. So Castle Wolfenstein here is uh, stepping up. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, Jesse's uh, Romanov Castle. At least you're not showing my face right now. Can I? Because I have to... Because no, I'm making the face. The face. <laughs> I have to like think about it. <laughs> yes, I do make the face frequently when I get myself distracted or um, I'm focusing too much. And this is solid. This is solid. And this is the door. Are you done yet? Shh, I was waiting for you for like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so that puts me in the so dessert room. Your, and that move your does. Hand. Move your hand. There you go. Us, and that does get me a finished red room. So Romanov Castle so far. Not bad. No moat. No moat yet, why. but it's coming. I don't know why there's no moat. It's coming. Kind of need the light. Show the doors here. It doesn't really show. All right. This okay. game does produce some pretty maps. Yes, it, it does. does. Courtyard I was saying be... that they should be used like as stained glass windows because they look really pretty. Should be celebrated with a dance. Dance, 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 There we go. Okay, I'm up for a dance. <clears throat> Let it be known that Sam did that voluntarily. I didn't. I did it for Bezier. You did. You did. I did it for Bezier. That's what I did it for. Um, uh, okay, so then I am going to take my turn and draw my moat. Okay, go ahead. They do not have to connect, though. It just has to be, your buildings have to be behind that line. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you drew I'm it like draw right it from here, there. Yeah. you could do it right here, then everything back behind it is going to be counted. Yep. Mm, 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 mm. 
All right. I like and the way these, these look when they're all done. done. Like so they look we are all pretty. going into our final round. That's why I had to draw my moat. <laughs> Kennel, a meat locker, Ooh. focus room, and a pasture. You have a meat locker to go with your baconry. No, I, I have didn't the take a bacon. Did I take a baconry? No, I took the baconry. That's right. You took the baconry. I took a pantry. I have a well, pantry I and figured an entree. Bacon is better. All right. So I have a three, and you have a three. So now what? So we take the uh, turn order from the last round. I went first, you went second, so that's what we do now. So do I mark tied. second again then? No. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, you do. Because you go you go last again. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see. What can I do here? What can you do, darling? Puppy, you're fine. Hmm. If I put the door there, it's one. One, two, three up. So I don't have the room for that. Oh, no. Oh, no. <coughs> have you chosen yet? But I could. Oh, that won't work either. Poop. Oh, see, I did that room. I completed Poop. that. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Oh, I do have an extra turn here, though. And I have a take from the reserve. Ooh, yeah. a take from the reserve. That might be something glorious. No, not really. <laughs> oh, you be quiet, Strider. Are you going? Yes, I'm going. Can I choose now then? Or can I at least play with it and look? My goodness, boy. Can I get up here? Yeah, that's going to take me out mm -hmm. above. No. How about you this way? How about this one? No. I could do that. Um. I'm going to do that. Mm. I'm going to use my red, my red flag here that I haven't used yet to take from the reserve. And I'm going to take this small yard and put it out here. So I'm going to do that green. And this goes okay. there. So did we determine if a space opens into a courtyard, does it close that room? It does. Oh. I well, think then so. Poo. And then. Um, like so. I like the coloring part. It makes me happy. Says the preschool teacher. True. I have adult coloring books at my work. Yep, just for does. days where I get a little stressed. She's got them back here too. I do have them here. <laughs> I do. I took a kennel. So I have stables and a kennel. I'm just letting you know. And I filled in a swan. But I don't think it helps me. Okay, that's my that. Um, and then I'm going to, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do an extra turn yes. to use my meat locker. Okay. So I'm going to use, because I have this flag up here, mm -hmm. which means I can use any one of these, right? Yeah. So I'm going to use it to, can I use it to remove a door even though I don't have a purple in there, right? Because I'm using this flag or no? What? That flag yes. can be any one of these abilities. So I can use that to remove a door. Yes, so I'm correct. going to do that to remove this door here so it closes this courtyard or this green space. 
and I'm gonna do that and mark that flag. Mm -hmm. I like it. Get to going, boy. I am. So, yeah. Yeah. I like it. This, this is kind of a yellow green. It isn't a yellow, is it? Maybe that's my problem. Oh, it's a lovely yellow. It just looks weird in this light. Close that in, which gives me another courtyard. I have one. Um, but that finishes a green. So. And that does finish a green for me also. That allows me to expand a lot. So I'm going to expand this one over here. And then I'm going to expand this one. But that doesn't help me much. But Okay. I like it. Let's go. What you got, baby? That allows me to do that. Um, I think it closes this. It finishes off another yellow. Um, because... Mm. Well, mine finished a yellow. So it does give me an extra turn. You're right, you're right. We should play all the things. Um, meat locker no, came this in. Is him. This use is that, him. use that. I think, oh wait, did I? I think the small yard gave me another swan, but it doesn't matter because I can't get up to four. Mm. Boom, boom. So that comes up here. And I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. Okay, I think that's all I can do, too. All right, so let's go ahead and mark our courtyards. So just so that we can kind of understand where those go. So there's a courtyard here, and there's a courtyard here. Courtyards have to be completely closed off with at least one entrance. So here I have a secret passage entrance to this one, so it counts. Yeah. And then I have one entrance up here for this cav for this courtyard. Mine, I have closed spaces, but they don't have entrances. Yep. So I only have the one. <clears throat> All righty then. Okay, so uh, what we need to do first is you want to take a to... different shot. Take your phone. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this dame does produce some some pretty maps. Yep, that's absolutely true. Mm -hmm, All right. Mm -hmm. So now what we're going to be doing here we have complete Castle Wolfenstein here, and we have a complete. Oh, I'm messing with it. Romanov Castle over here. I'm messing with it. Oh, hold wait on, a minute, hold wait on. A minute. I'm. I didn't do yeah. the thing. So complete Castle Wolfenstein. Complete Romanov Castle. And then Castle. I mess with it again. Can you and, see the colors? Yep. They're all good colors. Um, yeah, I guess you didn't need to. But um, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, so we have courtyards. Courtyards are basically worth 10 points at the end of the game, and courtyards have to have one entrance at least. My secret passage is the entrance to this courtyard here, so that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. So now what we're going to do here, and I'll show this after we get done tabulating everything, but now we're going to go through and tabulate all of our scores for our f completed rooms, uh, get that done, and then uh, we get to go with... Um, empty adjacent squares on our green areas and we'll go through that as well as we go through it so uh let us go ahead and tabulate some of that stuff we'll put it up on the um regular uh angle here for just a second boom and that way you'll be able to see the top of our heads <coughs> <coughs> As or we, my concentrating face as I try to do math. As we do this. As we played it last night, I actually just handed my cards to Sam, and I was like, can yeah, you just do this? That is true. She did do that. I can't count to past 20. That is true. Just do All this. All right, so uh, for my yellows, I had one, two, three, four finished <laughs> <coughs> yellow rooms, and nice. that's times four, so that gave me 16 points. I have two, and that's eight. Yep. And then for my blues, I had one finished blue, so that's five <coughs> points. One times five. We did decide that this is finished because it's in a courtyard. Yes. Okay, so I have two. And I have one gray uh, times six, so that's six points. I don't know how many gray. Then I have one purple that's completed. Um, oh, you know what? 
Yeah, no, that, that completes, but um, yeah, it did that goes out into the courtyard, I think. Bezier will uh, double check us on that, I guess, if they could. But I think that does. If they're opening out into a courtyard, that's completed. Right, that's what so I thought it was. I'm just going to put it with seven. I have three. Seven <clears throat> times three is 21. Um, I have two finished red rooms. So that's mm -hmm. uh, 16. So eight times each. <clears throat> now, with green rooms, because they are outdoor areas, you get bonuses for empty Space squares right. that are next to them. So if you get two points for a complete square and one point for half a square. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark my uh, map here. So I have two, two, one, two, one on that one. And then down here I have one, uh, one, one, then I have two, two, and then I have two and two. So let me show that real quick. Oh, I forgot my third one over here. Um, so here I have two, 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 two. two. Um, I don't know what to do with this. This <coughs> square has half, so it gets one, but this square has half, so it gets one also. Um, that's what I was looking at. I think it's just um, these two get combined. So you get two points for this square that it's adjacent. So this isn't two and okay, two. Okay, so this is two. So this area gets me two. That area gets me two. But um, this area gets me one because it's... Correct. Okay. It's only half a square. Okay. All right. Um, Two, four, six, so eight, ten, let me just go 12, ahead and show that over here 13, 14, <coughs> 15, so that people 16, can see that. And I hope I did it correctly. Bezier, help us out if we did not. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, so 13, 14, over here, I got two 16, points because it's 15, open, 20, open, 20, one point because it's half open, two points because it's open, and then one point down here because it's an open one for half. And then down here, same things. Uh, are basically going on, but I just wanted to show those to you. So I think I have 29. You're probably wrong. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, Rooms with doors 12. leading into courtyards aren't completed. There oh, we go. Thank you see, for that. See, that's where I was like, that's not All a completed right, so room, which is fine. I didn't mark that because I wasn't sure. This doesn't mark, so I crossed that off. Okay, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so, 12, 13, 14. Seven, so my 16, first room got 17, eight points. 18, 20, 22, uh, this room down here got one, two, 26, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this one got two, four, six, eight. So. Oh, do we mark them by each room? Oh, crash test dummies. <laughs> <coughs> two, You're four, six, eight, 16, 10, 12. 16 plus nine is 13, 25. 14. All right. Um, Uh, but you do get a courtyard and a time to dance. Yes, that's correct. And a time to dance. That's my favorite part. Let's go back to that. Door. Okay. Kay. If it's a secret door, it does. It does. It does, this does complete the room. Right. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's our that's green our rooms. Green, now blue. we go to our moat. So we look at all of the rooms behind our moat, yes. and we give it's times two. So right. I, I have one, two, color. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. They have to be completed rooms. Uh, this is what we asked before. Bum, 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 or total rooms. Bum, 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 bum. I just think it says rooms, but I'll double check. I'll double check. Where is it? Thank you, dear. Um, mm, immediately remove any room entrances that are directly adjacent to it once you filled in all eight of your swans. Blah, 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 blah. 
Okay, so at the end of the game, each moat you have scores two victory points for each room that is fully behind the length of it when looking outside of your okay, log. Okay, so... So it does not say anything so about being six. a completed room. It just has to be behind your moat. So, so I have 12 rooms. 12 times 2 is 24. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I got... 30. 30 points. And I have 24. All right, and now, depending on how many orange rooms you scored, uh, you finished or completed, you are able to take bonus cards and score. You want to score the right. most. I can only uh, score one, so <coughs> not that mm. one. Not that one. So I'm not going to get that one. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get that one. And We'll score this one. Maybe that, and I'm going to get that one. So I think, hmm, this could take a while because for <laughs> you each got of some you, unused rewards, definitely not that one. I'm going to use that. <coughs> <one. clears throat> Maybe that. Mm -mm. Rounded. Ooh. No, oh, he's doing math One, over there, you two, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes! Hallelujah! And you get to take three Not cards because you have three completed rooms. Yes, I do. So, um, I need yeah, to look he's at... going to beat me! Not necessarily. But I don't mind. She's a shark. He's alive. <laughs> uh, I need to see how many different rooms that I have. Of each oh, yeah, one. That's true. Uh, four, <coughs> seven, eight, and then two. So, not doing that. Maybe. Don't have. I only got one of those, so nope, not doing that. That I have. Hmm. One. Hmm. So these two plus one of this, I think this is going to be the best way for me to go. All right, then pick it and choose. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, so. I'm choosing my one. What we did um, is we are going to take. All right, so uh, I'm going to do four points for each of your rounded wall segments. Oh, that's cool. So I. I think, let me double check, but they do not have to be completely behind the moat. What? Rounded no, wall any, Okay, he's just answering. No, okay. they don't have to be completed. They just have to be behind the moat. Got it. Yeah. That, uh, Thank that's you. What, that's what we found. Thank you very much. Um, so let me double check this one real quick because I want to make sure I'm reading the card correctly. It looks like every rounded part, four victory points for... Per, each curved wall segment in your count, yeah. count each square with a curved wall in it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> watch this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, times 100. <laughs> no, times four. <laughs> yeah, so like I said. The first one is uh, going to be uh, four times, what did I say, eight? Four times eight. 32. Yes. All right. So 32 in there. So that's that one. Boom. Right. You're going to beat me. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, so that's... Oh, no, no take backs. No, I'm not going to do that one. That's the wrong one. I thought it was the one you had the other day. So I'm definitely doing that one. Um, and then I think... The, da, 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 da. This one gives me more. So I'll use that one. So, yeah. Okay. So, next I'm going to do this one. Six for each of your two rooms, and I think I have two of them. Uh, one, two. Yeah, so that's 12 points for that one. And then this one gives me seven for each of your first place things out here. So, we've got to uh, do that So, mine is just five for each one that I finished So, that's ten. Last. So... No, five yeah. for each round that you finished, up to six times, so 30 points. 
that you go last. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's you're correct. 30 points. That's all I got. <laughs> Up to six times. So 30 points. Yep. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do these real quick. So who has the most purple rooms? Me. You have three, three. So you get 15 points and I get eight. Wait, we didn't do courtyards. Did we do courtyards? Uh, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. I just, because I need to do that for oh, this. Oh, okay. Uh, the most yellow rooms, I have one, two, three, four. You have them. All right. So I get 15 points. You get eight. So I get 15 on the first one? Yes. Okay. And you get eight on the second one. And then the third one is most unique types. I that have... is interesting. Um, I need to see about further clarification. I for have that six one. different types. I have three. All right. So number of unique room types that appear in your castle, counting moats and courtyards. Oh, counting a moat and a <clears throat> courtyard. Okay. So unique types. I think that's just you know I have one. So one, two, three. Four, two, five, six, three, seven. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So I have, so eight. I have nine. Um, I think it's you didn't get grays. That's why. Yeah. I, we got everything else except you didn't get a gray yeah. one. Yep, yep, yep. All right, uh, so that's that. And then the last one is so wait, wait. most. So I put this one is what? I put eight here? Eight, yes. And then the next one is red rooms. I have two and you have, and one. I have one. So I get 15 points there. And I get eight. So this one gets me seven bucks for each of my first place ones. So that's 21 points on that. So 32, 34, 44, 64, 65. It's double my score in that category. In so. that category. All right. Yes. Now, per courtyard, I have two courtyards. So that's uh, 20 points. Ten. Then we add up all of our doohickeys. So. This is where I go. Nope. Yeah, this nope. is where you go. Nope. Uh -huh. Nope. All right. So um, that's 21. 10. 20. <laughs> nope. Six times four 30, is 30, 24. 50, 24 is 50. I have 56. 30. I don't know, but I think I have 53. Okay. Just do that. We're taking 53. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm like, I, I think I do. Seven and seven and seven is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29 plus 24. Well, that's Three, 53, 53. There you go. I did it. I, I did. did it right, you all. Feel like you're watching a Dora commercial. I know. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So um, next is your royal decree. Uh, I get three points for each unique time, and I had eight unique ones, one through eight. Sorry, so twenty-four. That is twenty-four points. Yeah. So I have twelve. I don't know where that goes. No, nah, this one for each pair. You yeah, got I have one, one pair. One. So right there. All right, so add that one I'll up. See. So that's 10, 30, 80, and then 45, I, eight, I don't know. It's 53. Eight times three is 24. Eight times three is 24, yeah. Uh -huh. Plus 15, I don't do 24, math. 24 and 15 is 29, 39. Okay. There you go. All right, now... We're now we're use, done with that part. Now we're going to use the phone. Good. Now we're going to use the phone because it's... We have a lot of carrying and a lot of numbers. Yeah. And, you know. So we'll do this. Um, where's my calculator? There it is. All right. Read me off your numbers. 8, 10. 8 plus 10 plus... 21. 21 plus... 8. 8 plus... 29. 29 plus... 24. 24 plus... 30... 
30 plus 22 22 plus 39 39 that's it yes thanks for saying that out loud <laughs> <laughs> jerk <laughs> It's, it's like significantly less than you did wow, last Jess, night. Wow, Jess, is that all? It's less than you did last night. I That's know. what I was... You got like 263 points Sweetheart, last night. Sweetheart, this is what it is. You got 191 today. Okay. Um, <laughs> 16 plus... It's like, wow, Jess, is that really all you got? 6 plus... 16 plus... 25 plus... I had no reds plus, and I didn't do any oranges. So that was a big problem for me. 80 plus... Yeah, plus 80. That's like my whole score. equals... Yeah, I know. Go ahead and write it down there. 296. Like I said. 296. So let it be known that I'm not a shark. She did beat me last night by a, by a good 50 points. Yes. Today he beat me by a good 100. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> that might or might not be true. But they do have to be completely behind the moat. Yeah, we did. Uh, I did that. Yeah, we did it. We did that. So, uh, 296 to 191. Correct. Not indicative of how the game usually tracks. No, I, I last night. 10. It doesn't matter. No, no, I no, have no, a good no. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but what I'm saying is, is that. Last night it was only a fifty-point spread. Yeah, today. Oh, and what I today did. it was a lot. But again, I, I think I I really do think that scoring. Yeah, the oranges. More, yeah. finishing more yeah. oranges yeah. is very important. I think so too, and I only had one. But it's it's difficult though because they usually only have one door. Right. Right. So you really have to put them in spots where you can like, just close it. Yep. I knew kind of after I got this right, and that. Right, you're gonna just close Well, this this part of the board is done. Right, right. Um, so I started building in that other area, but yeah. I really got into a difficulty here because Lining it I up had to and... find places that fit in yeah, smaller yeah. areas. But finishing those uh, utility rooms really yeah, gives I think you that more, makes a big difference. More ability to score higher mm. points later on. This is the card that I was like, oh, yeah, I want to do that one. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was the one that allows you to score mm -hmm. twice, mm -hmm. a card twice, which <coughs> that's just why I went directly to it. <coughs> I literally okay forgot how to swallow. You okay over there? I tried to take a sip of my lemon tea and I forgot how to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> my brain went, nope, can't do that. But anyway, that is Castle Wolfenstein and Castle Romanov. For blueprints of Mad King Ludwig. Uh, so we had. Let's write our. Let's write our. Uh, oh, so, maybe you just put your score up there. Yeah, that's what it is. So what I'll was yours? One ninety-one. Remember one ninety-one. One. One ninety-one and two ninety-six. So there we have it. Super cool. Good game. Good game. Good game. Uh, so that is that. Um, that's how you play Blueprints of Mad King Ludwig. Thank you, Bezier Games, for entrusting us with your baby. Uh, I think Ted did a great job. Um, I think it's super cool. Uh, designing this game. I think it's, I, I'm, I'm usually not one that in, really enjoys roll and writes, <coughs> which this is kind of at its base. But I think I, the reason I like this one better is because it has that art, that yeah. artistic coloring right, it does. part of it. And I'm not huge on coloring either. I don't know. Your coloring looks way better than mine. Well, it doesn't... Uh, <laughs> I just think that it's it it makes it more aesthetically pleasing when, yeah. it's, when you're coloring in shapes and you have this map. Right. Rather than just putting in numbers and putting in squares or right. what have you, like on some of the other roll and writes that we've done. No, this is fun. Um, I like it. Uh, I will say that it does get pretty mathy at the end. That's but, when I tap out. But again, we've got devices That's to take care of that. Sam. Not a problem at all. But figuring out the score is not difficult. Oh. It's just procedural. I just let him do it. Yep. It's also very good. Sam the Slayer. Not quite. Totally. Not quite. She slayed me last night. We're on even standing at this point. It's right, one to fine. one. Period. Period. Fine. Period. Period. Full stop. All right, Stop. thank you for joining us. We appreciate you joining us. I hope you enjoyed the game. Go check out Blueprints of Mad King Ludwig from Bevzier Games. 
And we will see you guys and gals on the flip side. Thank you, Bezier Games, for joining us. We appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to make sure we kept our P's and Q's in a row. Yes, please. Thank you for that. Anyway, we're out of here. Join the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. That's what I or meant. Or join. Go back no. to going to it, I guess. Join it. No, don't try to mess. I misspoke. <laughs> don't, try to, don't try to fix it. Just let it go. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. That's what I was trying to say. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Bye. Take care. I really like the coloring. <laughs>